in the pocket, gets it out quickly, and this is Robinson. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Little move, makes a man miss. Muma couldn't get him down, but he stopped short of the marker at the 16. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, that's peak athleticism right there. This is SportsCenter. Breaking news! Trevor Zegers has signed a three-year extension with the Ducks with an AAV of $5.75 million. In 180 career games, he has 49 goals and 139 points. For more on this story, click the link below. Hey, I'm Mercer Roberto, and what a wild Sunday in the NFL. And with so many storylines, let's bring back an old DSE staple and see what we learned in week four. Starting with Josh Allen and the Bills who carved up the Dolphins yesterday. Allen was absolutely dominant as the Bills crushed last week's toast of the league 48 to 20. He was 21 of 25, throwing for 320 yards and four touchdowns. He had more touchdowns than incompletions. Oh yeah, and he also ran one in. But should we really be that shocked? Well, if you listen to the overreactions from week one, maybe. But in his career, Allen owns the Dolphins. He has a 10 and two record in 12 career games, including playoffs. And just look at those stats. They are video game numbers. And oh yeah, Stephon Diggs is pretty good too, as he went off for six catches, 120 yards, and three touchdowns. There was some bad news for the Bills though, as corner Trey White left the game with an Achilles injury. And there's still no word yet on the injury, but there is a fear of a torn Achilles and the season being over. The other thing we learned in week four is that the Bengals might be in some serious trouble. They were held without a touchdown for the second time this season, and it's only been four weeks. To put that into context, they scored a touchdown in all 19 games they played last season, including the playoffs. Joe Burrow has been flat out bad through four games, but in his defense, his O-line is doing him no favors. And oh yeah, his top target, Jamar Chase, is starting to sound pretty frustrated. I'm open. I'm always open. Excuse my profanity, I'm sorry. We saw a tweet that said, just like Waffle House, and that's hilarious. <laughs> and more bad news for Cincy, as receiver T. Higgins reportedly suffered a rib fracture in the loss but we still have no timeline for that injury. And the final thing we learned Sunday is that we need more Toy Story games. The London game between Atlanta and Jacksonville offered an alternate feed, with Toy Story recreating what we saw on the field. And while it had some glitches, it was still amazing, with the infamous claw even spotting the ball. Who doesn't want to see a video game character of themselves leaving flames as they run? Week four concludes tonight on TSN with Monday Night Football, as the Giants host the Seahawks at 8.15 Eastern, 5.15 Pacific. The coverage begins at 6 with Monday Night Countdown. For the Giants, Saquon Barkley is listed as doubtful, so do not expect to see him on the field tonight. <laughs> to baseball, and after what felt like forever, the regular season has finally come to a close. And the bracket is locked in as the postseason officially begins tomorrow. Now for a while there, it really seemed like it was going to be the Jays and Rays in the first round. Which, despite Toronto's success against Tampa, that's not the easiest first round matchup. Instead, Toronto gets a Twins team, they actually have a better record then. However, because Minnesota won the Central, the entire three game set will take place in Minneapolis. And when looking at the odds, we gotta think the home field is a big part of why. Minnesota are slight favorites at minus 144, with Toronto at plus 118. Now, not too much separated these two teams during the regular season, as they split the six games they played, and the run differential was pretty close too. At the time of the posting of this show, the starter has yet to be named official, but obviously it's gonna be Gosman. Very excited about postseason baseball just in general. It is my favorite sports playoffs out of all the sports. Nothing's better than October baseball. <laughs> It's been 12 days since the Chicago Blackhawks opened training camp, and it seems like every other day since then has been bustling with Bedard buzz. On Sunday, the 2023 first overall pick set the hockey world ablaze once again with this unreal highlight reel dangle. And that's not some no-name wings player either. That 6'6 D-man, Simon Edvinson, who was drafted sixth overall in 2021. While this has likely been the most Bedardian moment since he slipped on the jersey, let's take a quick recap on what's been happening with 98 since camp opened. First off, Bedard's been giving his teammates a first-hand look at his ridiculous skill set in practice. Look at that backhand sauce to spring Taylor Hall. Look at it. And yeah, 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 we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. But now we talking about a game. Bedard's elite vision carried over into gameplay when he scored this ridiculous wrister in the prospect showcase. His flash and flair was fully evident as he danced around the blues in his preseason opener. Before he perfectly placed this apple, three on three Bedard is gonna be a problem. And he has not just been a gem on the ice, as he's flashing some personality off the ice as well. Which is a rarity for hockey players, even making media members laugh. Whether he's talking about playing mini sticks with Nick Foligno's kid. I saw him talking about the mini sticks, so uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun and I went undefeated, so. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about his extended shift during OT. Yeah, I like hockey, so. Um, <laughs> I wanna be, wanna be on the ice, try to circle the, the face off that a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, play three on three probably five six days a week in the summer with uh, everyone back home so uh, it's probably the most fun thing in my life so uh, yeah I didn't want to get off. Bedard is quickly establishing himself as a face of the NHL and now we're just one week away from the Bedard buzz hitting the regular season. 
sure you can get six. I don't know. I feel like we should be as excited for this kid as we were for McDavid when he first arrived. <laughs> Guess what's back? <gasps> it's promo time. <sighs> I forgot how to do it. Oh wait, <clears throat> this promo time involves a mask. I want to be doing the murder. I'm gonna just, no, you know what? I've had this since the video game Absolver came out. Um, that's like deep inside baseball gaming stuff. Uh, I, I've been scared to put it on. Okay. <laughs> it was so heavy, what the heck? It's promo time. Today is the day as The Traders Canada debuts on CTV. For those who don't know, the show is the ultimate murder mystery game. And there are quite a few stars you'll recognize on this. And I'm not for the spookies, okay? I'm not really into this time of year and everyone's into scaring everybody, but it does look like it's gonna be a good time, especially for October. New episodes air every Monday at 10 Eastern, 8 Mountain on CTV, or you can stream it right now at ctv.ca or the CTV app. Now a big message within the show is who can you trust? And when looking at the NFL this season, that's a great question. Because after what we saw Sunday, it's starting to look like we cannot trust Mac Jones. Mac turned it over three times Sunday in that beat down from the Cowboys, throwing two picks and losing a fumble. Mac was so bad that it ended up being the worst loss of Bill Belichick's career. Which like, if you think about it, is wild considering how long Bill Belichick has been doing this. And here's where you really can't trust Mac. And that's betting him as an underdog. In his last 12 starts as a dog, Mac is 0-12 against the spread. So if you bet him all those times, he literally has returned you nothing. And just a reminder to watch the season premiere of The Traders Canada tonight on CTV at 10 Eastern, 8 Mountain. Or stream it on ctv.ca or the CTV app. That's all for today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow 3 Eastern, no Pacific. Have a good one.